All right. Hey, everybody. Um, hey, I'm back. I, I'm alive. Um, <laughs> um, Ostensibly. Yes, and I'm in here with uh, Blue, Howie. Oops, I'm at a bad Um, Yeah, I decided to take the last couple of weeks off because I, I uh, complicated real life reasons that nobody really cares about. Um, but before we get started, as always, make sure you take a second to hydrate. Hydration is important. I have been hydrating all freaking morning, and so, you know. I'm gonna drown, essentially. No. Um, anyway. Um, but yeah, take a second, stretch, relax. It's Monday, that may be the case. However, that doesn't mean you have to stress about it. Just breathe and relax for a bit. Anyway, I hope everybody's uh, last couple weeks has been pretty well. Um, or not pretty well, I guess it would be proper English way of saying it. Um, but, um, the, uh, sorry, my phone is now suddenly deciding to argue with me, because of course it is. It says, no, I don't want to have Twitch running on my phone right now. There we go. By the way, okay. I think your sound balance a little bit off. Uh, I am louder than you by far. Yeah, that's because I turned myself down and then forgot to turn down the Discord because I haven't had people hanging out in the Discord for a while. Let okay. me just turn you down a bit. Basically, um, I peak very easily just because I'm a very loud person. And so I have been trying to counteract that by messing with uh, volume, essentially. And um, forgot to do that to the Discord as well so that people weren't completely overpowering me in the, in the audio because I haven't had people in the Discord in a while. Um, so try That's it now. Good. How's it going? Uh, hey, actually, you know what? Let me turn on the volume on your thingy over here. And you sounds fine. Sounds fine to me on twi on my phone. Yeah, all good. By the way, cool. Yvonne says hi. Hi, Yvonne. Or at least she told me to tell you that she said hi uh, as I was tuning in, and then she abandoned me. That that's usually the case. Yep. So let's go ahead and and get on into this. Um, it's been a bit been over a month uh, since we played assass this Assassin's Creed. Um, for those of you who may have missed it last month, I played uh, Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry um, and also a few other things, but um, moving onwards, we'll, we will be back on our usual schedule of um, Crimson plays Assassin's Creed 2 on Mondays and then Tomb Raider Tuesdays. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh wait, that was intentional. Um, but just as a quick refresher, um, we are in Venice, um, and as far as things like the treasures and stuff, as you can see, that all the extra stuff, I currently have everything fully, oops, everything of, uh, get, grabbed and picked up and all the collectibles grabbed for the current available areas. Um, so... Yeah, all that's left for me to do is just, you know, the actual storyline. God forbid. Um, if I remember correctly, at the end of our last stream, I actually picked up the armor of Altair, which is what I'm currently wearing. So, like, I very specifically grabbed that, if I remember correctly, uh, before the end of last stream. So, if you want to see that, that's a check that on on YouTube or you know in my uh, collection vids on uh, on here twitch that's the one that's the name of this website twitch <laughs> oh and I almost just ran into those people because I'm totally not paying attention and I'm totally not rusty at all oh we're gonna go see Leonardo cool 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 I'd forgotten that's where we were Ezio, Dio mio, 
You're alive! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you're in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Carnevale. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my fresh friend. Graphic. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. Fresh graphic? In fact, what? it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco. Instead of rolling out but the scroll, as a hummingbird. It. Is that possible? Oh, yeah. I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. Yeah. <laughs> Is that possible? I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> I love Leonardo in this. He's just so... He's like, ha, I don't know if it works, but hey, we're going to try it anyway. Um, all right, so I now have a pistol, so that's amazing. Um, well, hidden pistol, technically. him in the <clears throat> I've done that before where I've accidentally shot a gondolier during this segment that that was fun <laughs> hmm. that either a bit of wall didn't load there or or that's glitched or something You've done me good, brother. Macerto. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. Queen has messaged me, I've seen him quite a bit lately. A, a mutual friend. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district. To the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <clears throat> in a way. Yes. Sister, and that's you. You can't be carrying away, weapons out there. Yes, a sister. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, about that mask. Marco Barbarigo. Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk, whatever Marco wanted, he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. And then there's his personal life. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this, Marco decides he wants Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriages till death do us part, and Marco's a good Catholic. So, he hires a hit good on Catholic. Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body, and once in the head. But he doesn't die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So, what does Marco do? Well, he hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta and keeps Dante as his personal slave. Damn. What a lovely fella. Yikes. All right, so let me let me go see what the queen messaged. Queen says she's here. She is here. The queen hath, arri hath, 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 hath arrived. God, English is really hard for me today. Um, hath arrived. Um, Laughing about Carnivale or a Renaissance Fair. Um, because of the title of this stream. And she also says she misses going to, to the fair. 
Yeah, I've I've only really gone the once, but it was a lot of fun and I miss it too. Ooh, assassination contracts unlocked. Um, where? Everywhere. Okay. Okay. So once it's to go down there, we could do. Let's do some assassination contracts just to warm up a bit. Okay. Yes. So, yes, Bard. I I understand. Yes, you want my attention. Um. Let's check ammunition. All right, everything is topped out. I should I should have left everything all topped out. And I think I have all the weapons and armor. Well, not all, all the armor, but yeah, I have like one piece of armor left to get, but I have to unlock it first. Um, and the uh, all the ammunition and everything should be topped off. Oh, sorry, man, I almost ran into you. Yes, yes, yes. Wondrous deeds he has performed. Dude, you are literally in the way. Let's go. Ezio, come on. How does he do that? Uh, you shouldn't be up oh, here. Oh shit. <clears throat> well, well, we'll claim that I did that on purpose. Oh, wrong way. This way. I am trying to go this way. The good news with the uh, Altair armor is that I don't remember if I've said this or not, but with the Altair armor. Because it does not Keep actually get <laughs> damaged What's the uh, like other armors, I don't have to repair it. So it's purely just a I talk to the to the uh, doctors, or I use my own healing uh, uh, healing medicines that I bought from the doctors, which is you know great. That's it. Come back anytime. I wasn't done with you. Can I? Yes, rub your hands connivingly while I. Please let me talk to you. Thank you. I want to buy back that minute. That then. should Jeez. feel better. All right. Now then, back to the assassination contracts. Nice expectancy. About five more. He won't be long. Eat my way up the side of this mountain. Or mountain building. That's what it's called. You know, the mountains we live in, like caves, except not. What do you think we are, dwarves? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Several of Archbishop Salviati's follow, uh, fellow conspirators are trying to hide from justice. They have taken advantage of Carnivale to disguise themselves as Harlequins. Find them among the revelers and strike them down. All right, let's go check out that uh, Carnivale. Get there, Sam! Get your hands off! Go for a swim. There wasn't a splash. That meant he didn't go for a swim, which means you shouldn't be up here. Not you. You won't get away. Hurry, get him! Because running away from your problems always solves them, right? Who said anything about solving anyone? Fair. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Note to self, use the mini-map. It's a useful piece of technology. I keep trying to tell Yvonne that, but she... Honestly, the mini-map is one of those common gaming elements that seems to frustrate her. I mean, that's fair. They they can be hard to... Because they're always different from game to game to game to game. It it can be hard to, you know, to track, essentially. I think, I think the struggle is with orienting herself by it. Right. Which, that's what I was meaning by it being different from game to game to game. Because, like, Assassin's you Creed, you're always in the center of the thing, and you just have to... It moves as you move the camera. But with other games, the little arrow moves and things Trust like that. You will soon feel much better, friend. Yeah, that's fair. And, so, I mean, it, dep it depends... Would you... Okay. Guys? You die here! Mercy for the day! Oops, wrong button. That's right, this is Assassin's Creed 2, not Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry. I 
I tried to use the wrong button to counter. <laughs> you know, that usual that's thing. It. I think they're Come back if you need me. Yeah, that sounds like a personal feeling. I mean, I didn't say otherwise, but I'm not the only person who's ever struggled with that when going back to True. the classic games from one of the more modern ones. Or vice versa. I'm definitely looking forward to watching you play through uh, Revelations. For some reason, Brotherhood struck me as, like, really, uh, mediocre. Eh. I mean, I think part of it was the fact that compared to 2, it was the entirety of Rome rather than, um, several places in Italy, like 2 was. Yeah. Uh, two's Venice, Florence, uh, I forget the other two, the names, no, Romagna, Slash Florley, and, yeah. A great um, here. Oh, shoot, I one's running. Is already running from it? Um, whereas in Brotherhood, it's only Rome, and is always Rome, you know? Um, yep. That was definitely a, uh, a hang-up of mine. And the diff and with Revelations you have the uh, the novelty of it being back in uh, oh God, in the, uh, what is it like uh, Istanbul or something like that? I don't remember. Yeah. Don't let them get yeah, like if I remember correctly, it's the time period in which the city was named like two different things at the exact same time. Constantinople. Yeah, Constantinople and Istanbul, and yeah. I think it's Istanbul. And it, and like yeah, it's, depending it's on, yeah, and depending on which part of the uh, city you were in, it was a different name, and yeah. We'll catch him. Don't worry. He's dog man. Okay, well, this is gone well. Our bus is over the top. Who are you? You'll be selling him your secrets. Bye. You are the best. I may have an entire army following me. But it's fine, because my target's right in front of me. Pride in oil. You just die. I don't worry about it, guys. I'm but not it's not a problem. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, we found part of the rent fair. Oh, Ezio, come on. Well, Carnivale, I guess, proper term. Win to you. You missed, guys. I believe they call that shot a whiff. Oh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Just let go. Where is my target? Right there. Alright, now I'll kill you all. like the perfection of what they started in 2 and carried on into Brotherhood. Yeah. They incorporated all of Ezio's gadgets into combat, just passively. Um, like he would, you would be striking with your sword or going for a killing blow or whatever, and he would just randomly use the, pist the hidden pistols in his gauntlet for yeah, a kill. Yeah, you could, uh, you could specifically counter certain uh, abilities. Yeah, um, and that was the thing that they carried on through 3 in later games, 
Uh, and I often used it in Free to Cry. Um, I used it a lot. I really enjoyed the, um, uh, the Hidden Blood Counter Kill. And I don't know if he did have a hidden pistol. But, like, that feels wrong for some reason. Say that last part again. If I recall correctly, uh, Connor had a hidden pistol, but for some reason that feels he wrong, did not. so I'm not sure. He did not have a hidden pistol. He had his bow and arrow instead. Uh, yeah, the only one who had a hidden pistol was, uh, was... Ezio? Ezio. Yeah. Um, but the... There were, um... Connor did have a pistol. Because it was that time of period when they actually had pistols. Um. Raju, where do you think you're going? Sounds right. Yeah. Not him, so, though, just, uh, like... Yeah, just an actual pistol hanging at his hip. Um. Yeah. A uh, single shot flintlock type thing. Yeah. Flintlock, yeah. And there were, uh, not necessarily single shot. Only the height of the smithy arts are available here. If you've no stomach for logs, really? Uh, it like I thought on... a big thing about Edward was uh, the fact that he could carry multiple guns for multiple Indeed. shots. Indeed, my clients uh, are generally much. Yeah, more. Edward, yes, but uh, Connor. The when by the time Connor came around uh, with the Revolutionary War, they were doing like early revolvers and things like that. Um, like God, really, really poorly shy. done revolvers but yeah you could have a uh, another time then one of the pistols for connor that was an option was one of the oh there's the doctor that's what i'm looking for right there um, oh, okay i guess i guess that lady's following me now that's okay um that should feel better soon uh mr generic like... name in the chat hey generic welcome back man Oh, you should guide for an hour. Unless you're telling me welcome back. Oh, you're saying oh, vibes. My lace is undone. Vibes indeed. Um, it's your boy. Ooh, I have more. Co I have more assassination contracts that I can do. Let's uh, let's make some guards knights here with these ladies. Where are they? There they are. After you. Go give him a good time. All right, I'm gonna go say and go check out this next contract over here. Hey, Queen, if you're still watching, because you were, but you may have slipped away for a bit. Uh, the um, this is the some of the fairground. Oh shoot, that reminds me. I meant to leave that chat open, where I could see it. There we go. Sorry. All right. All right. So now, where is the contracts? The story mission wants me to go there. That's not where I want to go, though. A true athlete. Hey, get down! Don't worry about it. It's not your problem anymore. It's going well, Generic. How's it going with you, man? There. No, you don't. Time to crash a party. One of Francesco de Pazzi's cousins is throwing a party. Find the location of the party by tailing a guest. Once there, kill the host. I'm sure the guests won't miss him. Lol. <coughs> All right. Okay. Where? 
where is the ah right in front of me. failing the guest ignore the the non batman on the I remember reading every so often that um, I want to say one of those assassin techniques or ninja stuff specifically here, uh, Get is this. about what? the fact that people rarely look up beyond like I want to say like a 35 degree angle above their own line of sight. Yeah, and if they do, and people are also very uh, quick to dismiss something that doesn't look right to them. If it doesn't match what they expect to see, they either rationalize it or just don't register it. It's the same kind of concept of like, of like the TARDIS appearing out of nowhere. People ignore it at when it just ran, when a blue box randomly materializes on the street that wasn't there before. Oop, I'm sorry, lady. I didn't mean to bump into you. Where did the Parker coming from? Um, and so, yeah, if, if something mysterious just happens, people tend to ignore it. I almost just ran smack into those guards because I was not paying attention. Can't go that way. Go this way? Not. Okay. Well. Quickly, quickly, Ezio. Raju, get back! So I decided to get playing Valhalla, and uh -huh. I ended up playing some StarCraft. Yeah, co-op mode. Cool. Uh, I... How familiar are you? Um... Like, I'm not very. I've never played it. But I'm aware of that it's a game. Please be careful near work site. Report any unattended damage to city property. Alright, do I have any more? Uh I do have more assassination contracts. How many how many more of these do I have available? Because I might save them for a bit later. Patience, feathers, beat up, race, assassination. Uh, looks like one more available. Hell, I might have one, or I might even have like only one or two more total for the assassination contracts. I am getting pretty close to the end game. Get down now! I will not get down, and there's nothing you can do to make me. Short of you know actually physically shoving me what off. What are you building. doing here? Oh. So what you're saying is there's is bleh. so what you're there's saying a, is there's a chance. There's a chance, yes. As, especially if it if uh, I do exactly what I just did, which was accidentally eat myself off the building anyway. <laughs> the classic. Do you require a medic? Well, the classic. He I wasn't. I leapt before I looked. I said what I said. Yeah, I wasn't disagreeing. It was it's still a classic. Classic Jamie. Yeah. Uh, okay. That that is not what I was saying, but yeah. <laughs> also, very true. <laughs> False legacy. A Venetian condottiero has kidnapped several artists and is forcing them to depict him as a war hero. Okay. 
Do not let him distort history in such an obscene fashion. Kill him. Afterward, I'll contact the artists. I need them to decorate my family's crypt. Hey! So, I mean, that's fair. Because, I mean, it prevents uh, an artist from losing a paycheck forever. Oh. Game may have just crashed on me. And Ooh. it did. That is exactly what just happened. The game just crashed on me. Um, hmm. One moment, people. Please. Do, 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 do. Technical difficulties music. <laughs> well, game's coming back up now. So. Do I have a notification from Pizza Hut? Oh, they're telling me about a deal. That I don't care about. So. <sighs> All right. Uh, and back into this we go. The downside of playing an older game on a new system is sometimes the game can't handle the system. <laughs> yeah, it depends on how old the game is, I think. Yeah, well, I've had consistent issues with the older Assassin's Creed's on this, on my computer, and my computer is not, oh, fuck, it's not a problem. <laughs> lands, jumps off a roof, lands right in front of a doctor. Ah, yes, much better, friend, you'll see. Um, but yeah, it, uh, Freedom Cry was refreshing because it didn't, it didn't crash. Uh, except for once when I was trying to get it to do something it didn't want to do that it wasn't made to do. Whereas with Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 so far it's been it has crashed several times. And I think it's because it doesn't like the streaming. Like it can handle the new system it's just that it can't handle the new system and the streaming at the same time. I think. Which is unfortunate. Target located. Um, you know what? Let's use the new tool. The new toy. Let me get to where I can... Nope, not him. Nope. Let me come through. Pardon me. Lady, watch out. Not you. You. Oh, oh, can I make that shot? I don't think I can make that shot. Waiting for it. There we go. Oh, no. There he goes. And now you know how far behind I am. I mean, I already know because I have it in my ear, too. Oh, I see. Yeah, I have it. That's I have it on my mind. phone. I have it. I have it really low volume, but it's like basically it's back of my head versus you know loud. Um, it's just quiet enough that I don't notice it unless I'm specifically listening for it. Let's see. Up. There you go. He won't me. It is astonishing how many of these guards know how to parkour. Yeah, and that, I've always mocked them for that too. Um, that said, technically speaking, this isn't parkour because parkour was, if I under, if I know my history correctly, was it was first created. Um, Around oh, the time don't of let them get away. Which is one of the reasons why in Unity you're actually doing parkour moves rather than just doing traditional Assassin's Creed free running. This is Renaissance Italy. I meant 
I meant revolutionary Because I said unity. Yes, I said you unity. Say unity. And which is revolutionary France. And I just right. oh man. But, I know, you know it's also distinctively you not God, Renaissance era. <laughs> Very much, yes. <laughs> Oh Come man. And see what my little gallery has got. Do you have anything new? I don't think you no do. No matter. Okay, was well, that my last one? Yes, that was my last one. And now to storyline we go. Have a good day, sir. Although I think before we start this actual memory, I am going we are going to take a uh, bit of a break. Once I get to outside the memory. We'll take a bit of a break and then you know, jump right on back in. I think I'm gonna dip out myself, though. Okay, that's fair. So I'll talk to you later, Howie. If you're dipping yep. out now, or you're gonna wait, or are you gonna wait to the break, which will be here in a minute? I was gonna wait for the break. Okay. Well, break is here because I'm right outside the objective location. Fine, so fine. we'll go I didn't ahead. Want to talk to you anyway. <laughs> Jerk. Wasn't intentionally a jerkish thing to say. It was just that that's how long it took me to get to the objective marker. Anyway, um, we'll be taking a bit of an intermission when we return. Howie will not be with us, as he has said, because he's a jerk and is going away forever. No, absolutely. Um, it's because he doesn't love us anymore, and he 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 wants never to be, did. He wants us to he wants us to die, and that's okay. I didn't say that. I, I would never <laughs> say that. No, that's fair. That's fair. Anyway. Um, I will be back in a bit, and then we will dive, we'll dive headlong back into the storyline of Assassin's Creed 2. I'll see you all in a moment.
and we're back. Um, are you ready to get into this stuff? Probably. You're probably really bored watching me run around and do assassination contracts, which is fair. Have to knock on the door. <laughs> Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most, uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. <coughs> Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! You bet your ass I'm gonna kill that guy. Pretty good. This way. <coughs> Don't come any closer, or I will carve up another one! Don't make me kill again! Oh... Not once these guards get out of my way. No! Who the hell are you? Get away from me! Damn it! Fucking crowd wouldn't get out of my way, so I couldn't get to him. Damn it! I'm trying to use my pistol. Stay back, or I would kill them. I swear it. Okay, and he's under a thing, so I can't get above him and drop, get the drop on him that way. Uh, He's not just the boots for you. And there we go. Thrones off. Please yes, stay hey. is your last. Okay, come on. There we go. Just leave me alone. Hi, Doc. Okay. Heal now. Going back anytime. Alright, and let's go back to Sister Teodora. Okay. Through, part of me. Alright. Disputed lands to the south are to be excluded from all mercantile enterprise. However, mercantile enterprise is drinking along with no tears. I've great metal work here. I need to repair, but I would like to buy a couple more bullets. Thank you. Oops, wrong button. Do I hope? And please come back up. Oh, I wonder I if I don't remember come if see what this. Pride Oh well, next time. Uh, Joe! Uh, the wrong buttons. Come on. Come on, man. Let me talk to you. There we go. Pouches. Nope. Okay. Perhaps another time, then. Could, I can never remember if they give you uh, more of that. Keep away! Uh, you oh, better! Hi, man. Uh, nope. I'll leave you alone. Because. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Knock on this door right here. <laughs> you have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except... For tonight, Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. 
All right. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Ezio, shame. He says, pretending that he was not thinking the exact same thing. Signore, signore, come on, come all. The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, There's Dante like every year, from that the video Golden we saw. Mask will provide entry Poor for guy. one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. All right. Time to win ourselves a min an entry. Signori, signori, this... <laughs> Welcome. Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies, here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. saw me climb into this, but because the they had exactly there won't be enough of you left to bury. Okay, fine. My sword. Hey, bigger they are. No! Die! Die! Now this is my axe. Okay, now, where was I? Come inside, then. Have anything for me, Bellinie? Uh, 
You're all looking lovely this afternoon. And then over here. <laughs> that is your Hello. Money. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You've proved yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. got this memory and this memory. Let's go for this memory. Which is this way. I'm Tradir first. Take up that medicine. May wellness that remain your companion. Ladder. Oh, and keep oh. away, you murderer. It's fine. It's fine. Step right up. Come on. Welcome. Welcome. The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field, and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours. Capture the flag. Mm. <clears throat> up. How did the opponent get the flag from me tackling him? Ezio. Up. Ezio. I guess the good news is that the guy can't get me here to steal the flag from me. Good thing this isn't timed. I also kind of trapped him in that little alcove.
Alright, dude, come back here. Ezio, you feel really slow, man. this round because I don't know how close he is to his base yep drop 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 Ezio or not Ezio I've been oh. telling you to drop not go forward the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory. Poor Dante. Getting chewed out by someone for something that's not his fault. That's better for now. Prevention is the best cure. And now for the last of the three events. Who's next? Step right up. Welcome, Benvenuti. Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. This dude's the eyes are massive. To beat the course record mask. is one step closer to the golden mask. And they're off. It's a foot race. Cool. Hey! Move. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, that was a little closer than I hoped, but I made it. The winners! You've proven yourself the fastest and strongest in Venezia. You are now one step closer to the grand prize. They so not happy. Let's come over here and talk to this guy. Right up and bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you have what it takes to defeat your opponent. Benvenute Lottatori. The game is simple. There's only one rule: no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you? Or two. Hmm. Who will win the golden mask? Who will win the golden mask? Could possibly be, you know, the protagonist of the game. Come on. Who else we should away? Come on. Do we have another challenger? Come on. Come on, fucker. Stand up. They always hit me right after I hit the taunt. Next. <laughs> Looks like this one thinks himself some kind of campion. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken. Alright. Poor Dante. Fooly! Come now! You bore me! Ah. You get two free ones. Is there nobody else to challenge our man in the ring? Do we have a winner? Dude, just ah, bribed him. We have combatants. Oh, yay. So that's how it's going guard. to be, eh? Yeah, that is apparently how it's going to be. All right. Nice try. For me. Signore e signori, the games of Carnevale have come to a glorious conclusion. Come see our winner claim his golden mask. Our winner has proven himself the fleetest of foot, the strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won, Lealmente, the winner of the Golden Baron Mask Square. is... <laughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro! Yay, fair and square. Congratulations. We'll see you this evening. Ah, uh, Dante. I feel so bad for him. His story is so tragic. Do you require a medical assistance? Yes, I do require medical assistance. Let me talk to you, doctor. Okay, Bard, you're in my way. Go away. Let me talk to the doctor. Doctor? Doctor? No doctor? Okay, well, he's apparently glitched. And that's okay. There are other doctors. Sorry. Ah, that's right, that's the doctor over there. Let me go to the doctor first. 
Got to see the doctor. Got to see the doctor. Fresh Cotley! Up. I didn't use any. That's it. Oh, okay. Going back anytime. <laughs> and I should be still full on. Uh, yep. Alright. How's everyone doing in the chat, eh? Y'all doing alright? I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you saw us cheat? Sis, yeah. You told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Kulo who stole the golden mask. He's on his <laughs> way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I'm in. I can do that. I'm in. Steal the golden mask from Dante. Alright. Alright. Before I actually start the ass, I want to stop by the the blacksmith. Check to see if it. Probably not. Yeah, nope. And I've got. I know I have all the weapons unlocked. I don't know. Another what I'm through all of those. Other than through habit. Okay. Need to get to Dante. And we'll hire you. Come on, ladies. Got a great plan for you guys. I really love the mask Ezio is wearing, though. Like, it looks really great on him. And, like, I love the design of it. It kind of reminds me of one of the masks that they had um, Data wear in Next Generation in the episode Masks. Pretty great. Swapping masks. Time to infiltrate. Buonasera, signore. Buonasera. You made it. Marco is on a boat just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. Sounds good. Dante. Find him. There he is. Damn it. I got turned around. Started going the wrong way, looking for the ladies. <laughs>
What do you think? What do you think? He's seen. Got you! Damn it! Your slave will be most amused should you survive this Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! Merda! He's not leaving the boat. We'll have to swim out there. I wouldn't try it. We'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight! We celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world. That's it. Your pistola. The one you stopped the murderer with. It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk out of here unnoticed. I don't like the way you think, sister. I'll be waiting for you back at the brothel, my son. All know we have come through trouble time, but we have come through them together, and Venezia stands a stronger city for it. Transitions of power are difficult for all, but we have weathered the shift with grace and tranquility. It is no easy thing to lose a doge in the prime of his life and to the cruelty of an assassin who still hides in our midst. Indeed, we all loved Mocheni Godil. He was a friend to us all, and he shall be... No. It's too soon. I'm not ready. We rarely are. Que la morte non sia crudele. Death be not unkind. We escat in pace. Leave me alone, I swear! I Out of the water. There you go. Has he been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
bother me. Oh, I don't need to do that. Uh, this is what I need. Get you, sir. Mention me to your amici. Wanted posters. I am no longer notorious. If only it was that easy in real life. Huh. He says sarcastically, not actually wishing it was that easy. Exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? <coughs> Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Those hands, oh, Ezio. can be arranged. Girls, <laughs> Ezio has such a hard life. Such a hard time. Such a rough life he leads. <laughs> I am sorry, my eye is suddenly itching out of nowhere. It's you, it's you. Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. No need to be shy. I will be here should you need. I need to take a trip back, a quick trip back to the, uh, uh what's it called? Monte Regione. So, let me do that real quick. Pick up the money before it hits max, and, uh, Pouches. There is and now po a large poison vial. Adio, then. I meant to meet your friend, eh? And then we run over here. Max those out. <laughs> you look stronger already. Here. I already bought the bullet. I don't think there's any, but there shouldn't be anything new in here. But in here. There it is. Last piece of the last Come and uh, see me next to pass this way. Let's run back up here. So I can change. 
change back into Delta Ear armor. All right. So let's let's admire this a little bit. We got all of those, all of those, all of that, all of those. We got. All of that set, all of this set, both the carriage model and the flying contraption model. We have all of the metal sets and all of the uh, Misaglius, I believe is how that's pronounced. I have no idea. And here's the Altair armor. Look at that. All right. Now let's go talk to Claudia. Um, let's, let's pop the code for the two last of the two new codex pages I have on there. Let's mess with that later. We only have two more codex pages to get. Um, let's pick up the money, and then I'll say hi to Claudia who still remains to be one of my favorite characters in the uh, top four characters, top three characters. I don't remember if she's in the top three or just top five. So I'll just say top five characters of the Salute entire Claudia. Assassin's Creed. You here to look at the book? Wait, wait, wait. That's a 96% completion. A presto, Ezio. Sorry, I want to look at that again. This time I actually want to look Salute at the book Claudia. instead of just saying hi. You here to look at the book? <laughs> Yes, now I'm actually here to look at the book, yes. All right, so we got all the shops upgraded, all the renovations done. Uh, missing two codex pages, as we've said. I've got some a bunch of feathers I need to, to deposit, but there is still some that I need to uh, to pick up, because just like the codex pages. Um, and I need to pick all the, car the portraits of targets, which collect automatically over the course of, um, over the course of the game as I kill them. Um, that's all completed, and I earn that much per whatever. So. A presto, Ezio. A presto, Claudia. All right, now let's go upstairs and drop off these feathers. Say hi to the mother. Maria. Hi, Maria, mother. Madonna. Eh, not Madonna. Just Mother. Ma Madonna has other connotations from what I understand. Anyway. 72 out of 100 feathers collected. <laughs> 81 out of 100 feathers collected. And there will be more before next stream. In fact, I might have them all before next stream. So that might... Depending on stuff. Alright, so we got the right, we got Altair's sword, we've got the, uh, uh, this one. there it is, and we got ammo all set up, alright, let's head back to Venice, <coughs> I apologize for the cough, Ezio, come on, there you go, Sorry, woman, I didn't, lady, I didn't mean to, uh, mean to spook you into shrieking like that. It's my bad. And... Tuscany was the other one that I was trying to think of earlier. Uh, anyway, we need to go talk to Antonio, and he is at... Should probably the closest spot right there. <sighs> no, that until word returns at once from the Holy Father, right. and you can land to the south and to be excluded from the whole. It's 
not start a fight with the guards immediately. Sorry, I can feel another cough coming, so I've decided to, take, to put a cough drop in my mouth to, to counter it ahead of time. <laughs> there you are! Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Papa. How are you doing, Queen? Soon to be Dolce of Venetia. Still there? Thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We've located Working Silvio on your research? Babari How's before. that going? He's fled into L'Arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. two more interviews. Then help me to raise my own. You've got plenty of time I figured that. you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love Bartolomeo. for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. Va bene. All right. And now we go and open the... Agostino Bavario. Barbarigo. The brother, or whatever they said, of the other Bavari... Of the guy I just shot. Silvio Barbarigo. Raised by wealthy and merchants, Silvio was introduced to politics when his father was cut out of the family inheritance. <laughs> Yeah, from play then on, if they Silvio reply. worked for his uncle, yeah. his I hope father's they reply. killer. Apparently, he had a knack for persuasion. Quickly, he became his uncle's advisor, proving his worth by discovering a Saranzo plot against the Barbarigos. You're gonna love this. Before the plot could be carried out, Silvio throws an Easter celebration, inviting the Saranzos. There's a pageant for the children in the central courtyard. While Silvio escorts the parents to the roof, he toasts the family, then signals the archers hidden behind the courtyard windows. The Saranzos never plotted against the Barbarigos again. Fast forward ten years, and Silvio's living in his uncle's luxurious Venetian palazzo. According to the history books, his uncle died in bed. Yikes. Um, yeah... Finishing, finishing the interviews is an important thing. Um, ooh, new assassination contracts. Um, they're not like they're not. They're most likely not interviews that I like. I could help with. Like you could interview me and check that as done, right? I'm pretty sure the answer to that is no, but I mean, it doesn't have to ask. They have to fit certain uh, specific criteria, and I am assuming that means that that the, that means I don't fit those criteria. In fact, if I remember correctly, I know for a fact I don't. I don't remember for sure, but oh well. I mean, we could lie, but that's not a good thing to do. Um. Okay, so, this assassination contract, Hunting the Hunter. It seems that your exploits have not gone unnoticed. Someone is after you and he has powerful friends. Find and kill the target I've marked. Hopefully he can provide you with clues. If you can discover your pursuer, defeat him and you will be saved. The merchant Medardo of San Polo has been found guilty of treason against the Serene Republic. Oh, 
pleasure. Grazie for your business. I am so sorry. I did not mean to do that. I was not paying attention and pushed the entirely wrong button. I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my sneak. treasure chest and pick them up outside of the stream. I see him. I love it how he's like literally just dangling in the water. Do I have any viewpoints marked? I do technically have one a bit lower. I need to do something about this cough that I can feel in the back of my throat. Um, so I, I will step away for a moment. I will be right back. So I don't cough in your ears and stuff like that. I will be right back, y'all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, come on, mouse. There you are. See you all in just a second. Be here, be. very gross or very loud or you know definitely not something that you should do while live on the internet now don't be shy i only aim to right, let's let's hit this viewpoint perhaps it's time to make an appointment to treat your feet right come to fasto he's got stuff the boots for you one more there you go We'll hit this viewpoint, and then we'll go hit this assassination. Okay. Right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright, so there's a bunch of other viewpoints. I might hit those, but I want to complete the... I'll hit the viewpoints as I go. Um, but my goal, my priority is the assassination contracts. And then I'll get the feathers and the uh, treasures and stuff. Um, in between streams, before next week. <laughs> Following the increase in access. 
Synchronized. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, okay, so viewpoint there. However, I'll probably hit the. Uh, where's the? There it is. I'll probably hit the um, target before that. The target is in the zone before that. <clears throat> Thinking maybe not. Well, I'm at the target zone, but... Okay, so he's the target. <coughs> I am so sorry. Hmm. Ezio, come on. Aha! Stop Don't worry about it. Ripping because me uh, failing, or okay, he wants me to go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll hit these three viewpoints, and then I'll go back here. Rip that guy I stabbed. Fair. I mean, I was literally told to. So I mean, you know, I was told and paid to. By the way, welcome back, Generic. Come, come, don't be shy. You asked me a bit ago how I was doing, I said I'm doing good. Uh, and then I asked you how you were doing. And you never responded, so I figured you were doing some shit. <laughs> oh, oh, don't fall. Oh, or jump. You can jump. That, that, that's not the same thing as falling. Oh, you passed out? A nap is good. Napping is fun. Napping is good, especially after work. After work, naps are good. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. Um, but yeah, how you doing, man? Haven't talked to you in a bit.
doing all right. That's good. Almost got into a car accident. Dude, the hell? Yeah, that that can be Almost getting into car accidents can be can be you know, could shake someone to the core, man. Um Oop. Well, okay. Well, I have that feather. Another capering crusade. You're fine, and that your vehicle is fine. Um, and I'm glad that, other than that, you're all right. It can, it can get, it can be rough. Arsenale da Venezia, di Venezia. Okay. Next few points. Probably the best way to get there. Um, probably right here, actually. Oof, black ice is a problem, yeah. Yeah, better than the cur better the curb than the person in front of you. Black ice is a problem. Oh, yeah! Jeez. I'm glad your boss was nice. Not many would be. But yeah, man, I am. I am actually. I'm. I'm really glad that you're. Uh, that you're fine. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. <sighs> okay, so there's a glyph here. Um, Have you seen? Keep your mind, assassin! Faster! Run faster! Let's see if we can't find that glyph. I 
think it's Vetoglyph, alright. Um, uh, I don't know what else it would be, because I've already completed all the other... Uh, ...things that might show up. Um, yeah, nope, nothing on the back side. Or the feather that's right Ugh. there. Grab this so that I can lower my notoriety. And then here. Let's go. Okay, fine. I'm assuming not gonna jump there. What a peculiar man. Alright, climb the ladder. That's what we're gonna do. Was that jump? Um, yeah, it's actually part of it. Part of it, a, a very solid part of it, is the fact that I am. I took, in addition to the two weeks off, I took um, the last two weeks. I took off. Um, Where the hell is this? Oh, is it like down on the front door or something? Um, in addition to the two weeks off I took, uh, the last two weeks, I also, uh, last month played Freedom Cry rather than Assassin's Creed 2, so my fingers are wanting to, to, uh, play the game like it's Freedom Cry rather than it's, uh, Assassin's Creed 2. What's all this, then? Did you then beginning to think your face would look better black and frozen with your Ah, there it is. I was looking at the wrong building. The end. Almost the end. It, it happened before. The pieces were once part of a whole. <sighs> Yeah, my break was really, ra was actually, I really needed it. I really needed it, and I feel so much, like, better, and I was able to get stuff done. Okay, once worshipped, now ignored from a distance, it watches and waits. Okay. Oh, once worshipped, now ignored, the sun. Uh, so we need pictures depicting the sun or the sun gods. Uh, Horus. Well, Egyptian mythology. Uh, there's one. Um, maybe. I don't think that one is. It's Mars and Venus. No. Um, Nazca textile. Maybe. Aztec calendar stone. Maybe. Version of tree spirit during worship? No. Eastern gate? Maybe. Throne of charity? Uh, unless they are very specifically. Maybe I'm being a little too specific. Um. Okay. So no. Not. Not you. I'm trying to unselect you, please. I do want you, but you I don't want. There we go. <coughs> um, you? Nope. I bet it is this. Unless there's something else that's in there that's not. Let's try that, that, that. Calendar stone. Marker disc.
Hmm, right, okay. Let's think this through. The same thing worshipped by multiple cultures. It's got to be nature-based. Yeah, nature-based, as in the hmm. sun. Right, yeah, okay. But... Think this through. The same thing worshipped by multiple cultures. It's got to be nature-based. trying those and it's not those unless hold on okay the book of the dead <clears throat> okay, let's start there um do that one that one that one that one nope you I can't hear anything. I didn't plug my... <clears throat> Excuse me while I plug my headset back into my phone so I can actually hear. I'm like, why can I not hear myself? <laughs> anyway. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oop, wrong button. There we go. Alright. Watches and from a distance it watches and it waits. The sun, right? So like, oops. oops I meant to click. A Nazca textile. Okay. Let's just try things that are from from in the past. Um, I mean, all of these are in the past, but I mean, like, far in the past. of charity. I mean, that ball thing could be in a uh, apple of Eden, or piece of Eden. Um, happening with my phone right now I know we're almost at six o'clock but like give me a second what the ever-loving hell is happening with my phone right now come on
Okay, there we go. Sorry. Twitch on my phone was giving me issues. Okay. Uh, once worship now ignored from a distance, it watches and waits. The sun, as I keep saying. Um, this one kind of looks like a sun. Um, if I remember correctly, the Aztec calendar stone was made... I mean, it kind of looks like it depicts the sun a bit. The sun a bit. If I remember correctly, it was made in connection to the sun as well. Um, so I'll go ahead and put that in there. The Eastern Gate... Sun rises in the east. Sure. Uh, now I know this one is connected. I know this one is connected to the sun, and this one literally has the sun in it. Hey, there we go. That took me way too long. I am so sorry about that. What is picture five? Sorry, sorry, man. I didn't see that because Twitch was a problem. But um, near the day of purification, there will be cobwebs spun back and forth in the sky. Hopi. They died in the fire from the heavens. Boba, 75k, was not a volcano. A container of ashes might one day be thrown from the sky, which could burn the land and boil the oceans. Also from Hopi. Uh, or Hopi. Pretty sure it's Hopi, though. Um, well, there's what it wants me to click, but let's see if there's any other... Doesn't appear to be any other words. Sorry, it's other ID Earth. Uh, you mean pick? You said picture five. Was it um, top row, fifth from the left? Is that what you're talking about? Generic. <laughs> All right, we have one more glyph to find. And that may be in this map. I don't know. I don't remember. On this section. I don't remember. I don't think so. I think there's... Because there is still one more section left to unlock. Um, up here. But anyway. Uh, I need to go the objective. Because I need to quickly finish this so that we can call it. Oh, and yikes. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Uh, you said what you asked what picture five was, and I asked um, if you meant the top row fifth from the left or what. But it's passed. So. Yeah, the, the the eastern gate was the top fifth from the left. You won't last a minute. a little over so we'll go ahead and call it there yeah it 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 did have the sun uh if i remember correctly if i if i understood the picture correctly it was like a de depiction of apollo or something like that and the eastern gate was the sun rising in the east or something i don't remember anyway it is six o'clock and so we will call it there um, remember that the VOD of this stream will be going up on YouTube, hopefully no later than tomorrow morning. Um, also available on my YouTube is every prior stream, Assassin's Creed 1, um, an older, uh, an older, uh, playthrough I did of Mirror's Edge. Um, also available on there is Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry, as well as the Dandara plays and Tomb Raider Tuesday, um, which we will be continuing tomorrow. Um... But about Dundara, I meant to make the announcement. Excuse me. Um, I want to continue that game. However, I do not currently have a stream day available at the, at, with my current living schedule. Um, so what I'm going to, what I'm going, what I'm intending on doing is recording myself playing it, 
um, and just upload those videos to YouTube. So those the Dendara will be continued, but it will be continued on uh, YouTube rather than on Twitch, at least for the time being, because um, Dendara was amazing, um, and I do want to continue it. Um, but yeah, so that'll be happening on YouTube as well. Um, also, I'm hoping to be doing a little bit more YouTube speci uh, YouTube um, what's the word YouTube uh, what's the word I'm looking for exclusive content. Um, nothing major, you know, just playing a few other games and re recording it and uploading it to YouTube. Um, as I have time and am able. Um, it won't be a, to a strict schedule, at least not at first, because time is a thing. Um, and, uh, but, yeah, the, um, I haven't fully decided what games, so I don't know. I'll, I'll talk about it as I have more information on that, but Dandara is definitely going to eventually be uploaded as I have time for it, and as I record it. Um, so yeah, until then, Assassin's Creed is on uh, all of the VODs of this and every prior stream will be available on YouTube. Um, and if you are actually watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate all of you. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, and come back and, you know, you're welcome to annoy the hell out of me in my Twitch stream. <laughs> anyway, um, so if you come back here tomorrow, like, because we're back to our usual schedule, if you come back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Uh, U.S. Central Time, I will be here again for Tomb Raider Tuesdays. We'll be finishing, hopefully, finishing up some, uh, we'll be finishing up Tomb Raider 1. If not tomorrow, then soon, because we're really close to the end of the game. Um, and uh, then we'll be getting, we'll be moving on to Tomb Raider 2, um, which is, you know, even more nostalgic for me because that was my first Tomb Raider game. Um, so yeah, beyond that, next week, usual schedule. Um, although if things change, I'll let you know through my social medias. Um, speaking of social medias, you guys should follow me there. Um, I have Twitter, fa a Facebook page, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Discord, uh, Instagram. And Tumblr. Hell, join me, follow me on Tumblr. But yeah, um, those are all available in my link tree, which is currently listed in the Twitch chat. And it's also listed down below if you're watching it on YouTube. Um, so come say hi. Uh, speaking of my Discord, there I am now putting a Discord link in my Discord ch into the Twitch chat if you want to join me on my Discord. If not, if you're if you're not currently on the Twitch chat, that's fine. Like I said, it's in the link tree. So come hang out, come say hi. Uh, the queen uh, is exists in my Discord um, as the queen. It's quite obvious that she is there and is who she says she is, because nobody could pretend to be the queen that is not the queen, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm starting to go a little bit loopy. Or I'm just loopier. Loopier. There we go. Um, anyway. <laughs> also, um, <clears throat> you guys should check out um, my friends who are amazing and put up with so much of my bullshit. <laughs> um, and they're on screen right now. Um, first off is Yvonne B. She has continued her usual schedules of streaming. Um, Sundays, Mondays, not Mondays, Sundays, Thursdays, Saturday, Fridays, and I think I've seen her on on Saturday. Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, all uh, more information about her over at her, um, on her, uh, Twitch channel, which is on screen, other side. Um, it's also, um... But yeah, also there's her link tree, which has all of her social medias inf inf information and everything on there. Um, and then there's uh, Twitch Jesus, who is Melador219. Um, or Matt, as he's often known. Um, he's been kind of taking a break from streaming, um, but I, he may still be streaming every now and then. I don't know. Um, Life is rough. That's all I really know. 
Um, but yeah, you should check him out. Um, he may have more information on his Twitch channel. If not, uh, you should still follow him and keep an eye out for when he does go live. Um, next up is Eternity. Um, he's pretty great, although I think he's been taking a break from streaming too, though for different reasons. Um, either way, he's still amazing. You should, ch you should check him out. And then there's Cosplay Katie. Uh, who is a cosplayer and is just straight up great. Um, she is. She has a. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you can check out her inst her Instagram profile, which has a bunch of cosplay on it. Uh, her Twitch, she streams, and on screen over here is her essentially link tree, but through a different website. Um, and then there's also Ember. Um, who is I did a uh, one sh a, a space D and D one shot with her uh, as DM uh, that may still be available on her Twitch I don't know otherwise she does uh, she streams she started recently streaming some of the uh, most recent Pokemon games and so that's fun um, and but she's also on TikTok and you should check her out there um, and my link tree is down below. But all these wonderful people, you should check them out. They're all amazing, wonderful people. Um, and, yeah. Um, excuse me. Oh, I think I'm a little tired. What do you guys think? Um, so, yeah. Or, or if any of them go live, you can just check them out here on my own Twitch because I will be hosting them as they're on um, assuming there are no conflicts. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, mm, yeah, that's about it. Um, as always, last bit. Let's, let me give you this last bit. Um, to, so make sure you pay very close attention to this. Remember that you matter. You are important. You are loved. And you deserve love. You have to take care of yourself. Shit is bad out there. Take care of yourself. Get vaccinated. Wash your hands. Stay away from people. Wear masks if you have to go outside. <clears throat> Do not gather in large groups. Do not gather inside with people. You know, it, just take care of yourself. COVID is bad. There's all kinds of new strains. Take care of yourself. I have, I just, I just before the stream got news from a, from a friend that her husband and their roommates have COVID. So, you know, it's still here and it's still a problem. Um, vaccinate if you're able. Um, each state, each place has their own like rules about those that whole process. Look it up, see if you're eligible. You may be, especially under new things, but stay on top of that. You should vaccinate. You should wear your mask. Even if you have vaccinated, continue to wear your mask because there's so much we still don't know. You may still be transmit able to transmit it to others. You still may be able to get sick with one of the mutations. We don't know much, but stay safe. Um, so take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. And that also includes taking time off from things like I just did for the last two weeks. Whether it's social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, whatever it is, taking time off from it for your own mental health is a good thing. It's a healthy thing. Your physical and mental health both matter. If you need them, I have crisis resources available. I know shit is dark. Um, if I can spell resources, there we go. Um, they're in my link tree as well. They're down below on my on YouTube, and they're currently in the Twitch chat. Um, they're resources for substance abuse, suicide prevention, de domestic abuse, uh, sexual assault. Um, and they're free, or at least I'm pretty sure they are. Like they should be. I'm. They they should be. Um, as far as I'm aware, they are free. Um, but however, these links are only available for the United States of America. 
um, your country. If you are not in the states, you probably your country probably has a version of them as well. So if you just Google them, you'll find what you need. Please, please seek help if you need it. Beyond that, just you know, the you guys know the drill. Have empathy. Be kind to others and yourself. Be safe. Love yourself and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.